So now that we've done a two-digit um, problem, we're going to move on to three-digit. And it's the same thing. I'm just going to be um, multiplying and dividing with bigger numbers. So again, I'm going to think to myself, what number can I multiply by four to get closest to 618 without going over? And so now that I have this three-digit number, instead of using 10, I'm going to go to the next three-digit easiest number, which is 100. So I know that if I multiply 100 by 4, it won't go over 100, uh, 618. So I'll start with 100. This is where I like to think of it as a guess and check um, type of method to solve long division because I can guess 100 and go from there. So let I guess 100, let's check. 100 times 4 is 400. I subtract. Okay, so now I have 218 and I can start again with guessing and checking. <clears throat> so what number can I multiply by 4 to get closest to 218 <clears throat> without going over? Now I could do, let's try, I'm going to try and stick to these easy numbers. I know that 100 would be too big. Let's cut it in half and try 50. So 50 times 4, 200. That doesn't go over. Let's try it. Now I multiply. I guessed. Now I check. 5 times 50 times 4 is 200. Subtract. Okay, so now I have an easier number to manage. So I have to think to myself, this is where it's important to know the facts. So 4 times 4 is, I know 16. Oh, that's pretty close. It doesn't go over, so I'll do that. 4. I guessed. Now I'll check. 4 times 4 is 16. Subtract. 2. 2 is not big enough to divide into 4 groups, so I know that's my remainder. Now these are my partial quotients. I'm going to add them up. 100 plus 50 plus 4 is 154. And can't forget the remainder too. And there it is.